Level 9 News has moved to an open source social networking platform utilizing the Diaspora Project, Decentralized Kernel Shell. The specific pod that Level 9 News is hosted on is called Cryptospora.org, and this is one of many, many pods or unique servers which provide an uncensored, secure, and truly free platform to interact with people all over the world. This capability is a perfect match for Level 9 News since the like-minded will make the time to transition off of corporatist, government-intimidated social networks and share in the responsibility to make an unhindered web shielded from anti-liberty meddling. Please join me in creating an account on Cryptospora.org and search for Level 9 News at Cryptospora.net to send an invite so we can expand on the mutually helpful community which is already making a positive difference. If you're fed up with censorship on YouTube, you're not alone. YouTube is now using flat out censorship combined with algorithms that are preventing your work, good work, from coming up in topical searches. And another thing, Based on YouTube's EULA, or End User Licensing Agreement, anything you post on YouTube's platform becomes the property of Google. You relinquish ownership of your own intellectual material in that respect. They can place ads on your videos, which you will never see a dime from, and censor your material at will. As all of you who subscribe to this channel are aware, the proponents for global government, the DOD, and security agencies in conjunction with private for-profit corporations globally are using all information being posted on social media against you. It may not be apparent to some of you now, but it will become very apparent to all of you soon how they will be weaponizing information freely being posted on social platforms against you. You can't completely insulate yourself from the unlawful, unprecedented invasions of your privacy without completely going off-grid, but there are better tools you can be using instead of Facebook, LinkedIn, YouTube, and a lot of other centralized social platforms made freely available to all of us. Cryptospora is a decentralized distributed social media platform based on open source, which means it is not run by corporations for profit, nor does it does it comply or collaborate with the NSA mandates for total information sharing? Unlike Facebook and YouTube, you retain the rights to any intellectual property you post. You control what's being seen by who. Setting up an account on Cryptospora is easy. Just go to the Cryptospora.net website, click on the Diaspora, or click on the join now and you enter in an email a username and then a password Enter um, the CAPTCHA, so make sure you're not a bot, which is a problem on YouTube, and click the sign up. Okay, now you've joined uh, Diaspora. Then you put in um, some simple information, who you are, you can upload a profile picture or an avatar and then you can use in this box below um, you can put in certain keywords that will direct your specific interests in an area both in feeds to you as well as in feeds to other people okay and there you are And because I didn't enter any tags in there um, on this example, we're going to get feeds in from 
you know, all kinds of places without filtering. Now, here, okay, you can go up here to your profile. And you can start adding posts or contacts to your profile account. Go into settings. You can select or deselect your sharing settings. You can select who you want to share with, who you do or do not want to receive email message, messages from, or you can close your account at any time. And unlike Facebook, the information is not saved on a server somewhere to be retrieved at a later date for an unspecified purpose to any organization. The account is deleted. Back to profile. You can create um, whatever profile name you want to be known as on the Cryptospora. You can enter in a short bio if you want, your location if you want, and any of the other information outlined here you, you can or cannot put down whatever information you want known about yourself. Now here under aspects, you can select who you want to share with like for example oh let's see somebody here oh this is all diaspora headquarters stuff but you can because we didn't specify specific tags we want to be following you can decide here who you want to share with acquaintances people at your workplace, your, just your friends or just your family, you can select those checkboxes and you'll only be sharing information with, in this particular case, acquaintances. Now you can add an aspect, health, create it, Make contacts in this aspect visible to each other. Hit the create. And now you have an aspect called health where you can either post articles having to do with health concerns or health news and information. And you can share that with only those other people who are posting the same types of things. Or you can sh choose to share it with everyone or just specific aspects in your profile and you can create as many aspects or delete as many aspects as you want now before you know it you'll have set up an account your own social networking platform that looks something like this you're sharing with people who have like interests you're sharing with everybody or just close friends or just family, or in the instance we used before, just medical or health. And all of these articles and related topics and information will appear on your feed. And again, based on your sharing controls that you set up when you create the account, that information will be seen by some or seen by none. you can see this is a lot like Facebook um, with respect as to your feeds or you can set up um, a place or a post for specific types of information sharing like I did here with the geospatial updating that's going on in progress and you know I'm encouraging people to use this forum to provide updates pertaining to this type of activity in the area and by doing so we may be able to get a better handle on where in the southwest that the Jade Helm activity will be focused on in your state. 
So why don't you please consider joining me over on Cryptospora.org and let's stop feeding the beast because the beast will ultimately turn and bite the hand that's been feeding it.